going to show a video from beginning to end on how to introduce your dog to the treadmill. I'm going to use rock to start with or forest, one of the two. But I'm going to show you how to get him go, to go to the treadmill, get him off the treadmill. It's going to have to be on leash. So what I do is I've got a le little leash hooked up to the treadmill and that's just to get them started. Once they get used to the treadmill then you, you take the leash off obviously. But this is just to show everybody how to begin treadmill training. Some people don't like it. Um, I actually feel it's a very useful tool, uh, especially now in the winter time. Uh, if you can't get outside because it's too cold, um, uh, and there's a really good chance that uh, your dogs can, you know, create problems on their pads, just like in the summertime, wintertime, walking on ice, cut their feet. Sled dogs wear booties uh, for that reason, because snow can be as brutal as hot asphalt. Um, so in the summertime here in Vegas, it gets too darn hot. Um, right now it's phenomenal, but I'm doing this to show people, um, this is a great investment, not only for you, but for your dog as well. Okay. Step one to treadmill training. There's a really good chance that your dog's going to be scared of the treadmill. So, on leash, you want to introduce your dog by walking him to the treadmill without it being on. All we want to do is introduce the dog to getting up on the treadmill. Now, some dogs have to be kind of coaxed up there. Once your dog becomes comfortable getting up there on its own without, you know, a little physical motivation or, um, you know, coaxing positive motivation, then you're ready to move on to step two. Rock, walk, good boy. All you wanna do is to get him up there, begin with, good boy, off. Walk him off, praise him, good boy. Okay, come here. Walk, up, good boy. Get him up there, get him comfortable, praise him, good boy. That's good boy, that's good boy. Off. You're gonna do this several times. Come here. Good boy. Praise him. Rock. Walk. Good boy. Good walk. This good boy. Always give a command to whatever you want. Off. Good boy. Come here. This time we're gonna go up there and we're gonna stay up there for a little while. Good boy. Good boy. Rock. Walk. Loose leash. Uh -uh. Good boy. Make sure he stays comfortable. All we want is a little bit of time up here, so he's kind of, once he goes into more of a relaxed state, just kind of chills out. That's when we'll turn the treadmill on and get him close to it, getting used to the sound of the treadmill. I even have got up on the treadmill myself and walked. Good boy. Off. Never let your dog get off the treadmill on its own. That's important. Because once you, once the dog starts learning that it can get off the treadmill without you getting them off, then they're gonna be on the treadmill for five, maybe six minutes at that, and then they're gonna fall off the back and say, okay, I'm done. It's just like a person, they get lazy. People go to the gym, you pay a whole lot of money and you go walk on the treadmill for two hours and say, oh, I'm done, my workout's done. Same with these guys, dogs get lazy just like people. If they don't wanna work, they don't have to. Even my work dogs, if you didn't take them out and work them every day, they'd be happy as clams to lay down and be relaxed and just chill. Even high motivated, high drive dogs are lazy. Rock, walk, good boy. Turn 
the treadmill on. Getting used to the sounds, the beeping. Boy. All we want to do is desensitize all the sounds as much as we possibly can. Once the dog becomes, well, he's pretty comfortable, but you know, some dogs would be freaking out. Get up there. Okay. Good boy. Now, step three. You walk him up there. Rock. Walk. You stand over him. Now, some dogs, what will happen is that you'll have to hold them in this position. Important, very important training. Uh, you do not want to do this with any kind of restrictive collar. You want to do it with a flat collar. As you do it with a restrictive collar, you're giving a negative reinforcement. This is all positive reinforcement. We want this to be positive. We do not want um, treadmill training at any point to be a negative um, negative experience. Now he, he's a master at it, obviously. He's been doing it since he was four months old. So with your dog it might take a little longer. I've had dogs adapt to it within five minutes. I've had dogs adapt to it in 30 minutes. So you have to let them sit here. Now during this process your dog is will fight you a little bit all you're going to do is hold the leash I just want you to hold the leash between your legs right here positive motivation keep them moving now we're set at about two miles an hour right now between one and a half two miles an hour is where you start once the dog starts walking and going forward You're going to do that for a few minutes. Now, if they try to get off, say, within a five minute period, and he tries to bolt forward, goes off to the sides, or tries to shoot off the back within five minutes, then that five minutes repeats. All we're trying to do is to get five minutes, five solid minutes of positive treadmill time. Once we hit that point, then we're going to let him off the treadmill, give him kind of a, a that -a boy, lots of praise, lots of love, uh, let him de-stress a little bit because it is going to be stressful for your dog to start with. Then we're going to put him back up there in about 20, 30 minutes. You're going to do that over and over and over until it gets to a point where it's routine. All you have to do is tell the dog, okay, time to walk. Boom, you get up on the treadmill, click it on, you can attach, I mean, these little leashes are really cheap. Any 
of your large retail um, dog supply store, um, I suggest getting one just uh, to start with. Um, even Rock and these guys, they'll go on leash to start with. Uh, as soon as I get them on the treadmill, once they get going, and like, okay, this is what we got to do, and then the leash will come off. But I just attach the leash to the handle, just like that, just like that. When you move on to step four, and the dog becomes comfortable walking between your legs like this, then what you're going to do is have the ability to get in front of the treadmill, still on leash. All you're going to do is guide the leash through the treadmill, sit in front, and motivate your dog from the front end of the treadmill. Once the dog is moving forward like that, then you're ready to step off the treadmill. A step away from the treadmill. Speed it up. Now, these guys do go quite a long time. And see, now Rock comes off the leash. Leash drinks over top and off we go. But, like I said, these guys do come on, I spend a lot of time on the treadmill. Do not put your dog up there to begin with, um, within the first few days, up there for two hours, okay? This is different than walking in your neighborhood. This is a little more stressful to start with. Once they get used to it, then you can start building up your time. Just like an athlete, you have to build up time, you have to build up tolerance. This is a steady, non-stop pace. When you walk, you speed up, you slow down, you stop, you sit, you know, you do different things when you're walking, you know, with, in your neighborhood or on a trail or something like that. This is non-stop. So you have to build up the dog's endurance. That's the word I was looking for. I'm not looking for a dog to go for sprints. I care less if the dog can run really quickly for 100 yards. I'm looking for a dog to go miles. I want an all day dog. So I build endurance in my dogs. I want them to go all day, boom, boom, boom. I want them, you know, uh, when and if we go camping and we go for a 15, 20 mile hike, Boom, I want my dogs there with me, going for that walk, for that mountain hike. Endurance, people. More important than teaching your dog to run really quickly for short, for short distances. It's better for them, it's better for you, it's better for all the way around. Plus, in this mode, you can still go about, clean your house, cook your dinner, do whatever you need to do and the dog's getting exercise and you're multitasking. Does it diminish the bond in that one-on-one -on -one time or whatever you have when you go walk your dog? Yeah, a little bit, but like I said, it's winter time. We're not all gonna get outside. We're not all gonna enjoy the um, nice, cool, brisk, snowy. In some cases, in some parts, have already snowed and are snowing, so when you don't want to get outside, can't get outside, weather's too bad, too crappy, boom, great all alternative. But that's my steps to introducing a dog to a treadmill.